Well, guys, my all-time Sharks build went phenomenally. I'm having a blast playing with it. The 99s are sick, but when you have a favorite team at a certain point, Hut, you just want to build them. So today's video, we are going to build the Dallas Stars, but not just their top cards or whoever is highest rated. What we're going to do is much like my Sharks build, build a past, present, and future lineup as well as some other gems from the Dallas Stars during their tenure in the NHL. So guys, I hope you like this video. If you do, subscribe, like, all that stuff, and tell me what you think in the comments section. Let's jump into my all-time NHL 19 Dallas Stars roster. So again, guys, this isn't the highest rated cards that are in the game that used to at some point play for the Dallas Stars. These are the ones that I picked out in the most creative way possible, representing different eras of the Dallas Stars. So let's start with the fourth line. So the fourth line will be the Futures line, starting with the 79 base gold Radic Faxa. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a higher rated card, but here we are. Drafted in the first round, 13th overall in 2012, represents a nice piece for the future of the Stars. Centering the Futures line is the 22-year-old Rupe Hintz, drafted in the second round in 2015, having a coming out party in these playoffs. Definitely a big piece of the Dallas Stars' future. And on the wing is the 19-year-old Jason Robertson, drafted in the second round of the 2017 NHL Entry Draft. Absolutely destroyed the OHL for my Ice Dogs with 79 points in 38 games this season. He's probably a year or two away from making the squad, though. Representing the mid-2000s and the last time the Dallas Stars made the conference finals, we have Matt Niskanen. Started his career in Dallas with three very productive seasons before going to Pittsburgh. Just wish he had a better hut card, to be honest. And his defense partner, unfortunately, I can't find the Hut Champs or Comp Season card. I believe there is a much higher rated one, but the 77 Trevor Daly will do. Spent 11 seasons with Dallas and was a prominent member of their decor during that time. And the third line is the early 2000s Dallas Stars. First off is the 90 Yuri Lettinen. Spent his entire 14-year career in the NHL with the Dallas Stars with 514 points in 875 games. Missed a ton of time, to be honest with you but one of the best Dallas stars during that stretch. Centering him is the 91 Jason Arnott. He spent four years with the Dallas Stars in the early 2000s, potting 184 points in 236 games. And rounding out the early 2000s Dallas Stars, we've got the 93 Diamond UC Yoke in it, drafted in the sixth round by the Stars in 2001. Enjoyed three years of his career there before moving on. On to the good stuff, representing the Stanley Cup winning Dallas Stars from 99, we've got the 94 Brett Hull. He enjoyed three years in Dallas and was instrumental in their cup run, being second in scoring during the regular season and having 196 points in 218 career games with Dallas. No surprises here. Centering him is the 90 overall Joe Neuendijk. He spent seven years with Dallas and in their cup run in 99, had 21 points in 23 games. Dude was a stud. And on his wing, it's a no-brainer, the 92 Mike Medano spent his entire career basically in Dallas or Minnesota before entering it with Detroit, but in 99 was a point-per-game player in their cup run and finished his career with 1,050 points in 1,142 games for the Dallas Stars. Representing the mid-2010s, we've got John Klingberg, drafted by Dallas in the fifth round in 2010. Guy has been nuts offensively for his five-year career so far, totaling 259 points in 367 games. And his defense partner, the 83 trade deadline, Jamie Alexiak, drafted in the first round by Dallas in 2011, started his career with the Stars, totaling seven years with the organization before moving on to Pittsburgh. 
And the first line, the current stars. The 99 Alexander Radulov has spent two years with Dallas, 152 games and 144 points. Guy has been a stud since joining the Dallas Stars in 2017. Centering him is the 95 team of the year, Tyler Sagan. Ever since joining Dallas, he has been a franchise player. For six years, he scored 464 points in 469 games for Dallas. He's been all they needed and more. And rounding out the first line, the 98 Jamie Benn. Guy has spent his entire career in Dallas, a full 10 years, scoring 649 points in 745 games. They would have been a mess had they not landed Jamie Benn. And the future studs on defense for Dallas, starting with the 98 Stanley Cup predictor Essa Lindell, drafted in the third round of 2012. Guy has spent his four-year career with 77 points in 239 games. Had a bad look for a lot of diving, though. Still very good at defense. And lastly, the rookie sensation, the 97 Team of the Year, Miro Heiskinen. This guy's a stud, a future franchise defenseman, and he's going to be on the back end for Dallas for a very long time. Now, I know there's a Hut Champs version, but the starting tendy for our Dallas build is Ed Belfour. The Christmas one seems to be a bit easier to acquire. He was the goalie for their Stanley Cup team and one of the best ever. Kind of a no-brainer here. And backing him up, someone I remember dominating the Sharks during the early years of me being a fan, the 91 Marty Turco. Guy was fantastic. Had it not been for the legend, Eddie Belfour would have been the starter. He was fantastic as a Dallas star. So guys, that does it for my Dallas Stars all-time hut build for NHL 19. There's a hut DB link down below if you want to click and see it uh, in full there. Let me know what you think. I'm not a Dallas Stars fan, so if there's anyone that you think I missed or should have put in, let me know. Um, there was a few guys that I wish I could have put in. They're just not in the game. Uh, Sergei Zubov would be one. Brendan Morrow is another. And then the Hatchers. Those are the guys I remember when I was a kid dominating on the Dallas Stars, which is kind of frustrating because I think they were in NHL 18 but nevertheless, let me know what you guys think. Subscribe if you like the content, and I will see you guys next time. I think I'm going to do a bunch more of these. Have a good one, guys.